Okay, we're doing uh, page 74, question 3. This is straight line depreciation. And I'll follow it up with a subsequent video where we do uh, reducing balance depreciation. So part 1 of this is going to be laying out the motor vehicles account, the provision for depreciation and the disposal. So the I'm not going to be putting numbers into the provision because I'm going to have to do the rough work for that first. So I'm going to start off by doing the opening balances uh, for the motor vehicles account. So look at my date. I'm doing this for 2005-2006, so my opening balance will be first the 1st, 2005, and my closing balance will be the 31st of the 12th, 2005. Then the disposal. Disposal happened on the 31st of the 8th, 2005, uh, and then the bank, so that's when I bought my replacement one, happened on the same date. So I then have a balance BD at the beginning of 06, and I'll have a closing balance for 06. So the disposal during 06 happened on the 31st of the 9th. So the bank will be the same. So and the bank is 31st of the... 9th 06. And then the balance BD is going to first the 1st 2007. Okay. Uh, so the amount of money to go in. Um, uh, the first thing I bought is so how the beginning is. So if I add together the value of all my vehicles, so I've got 280 grand plus 360 plus 290 and then plus is there a something else fitted to the vehicles and uh, the bus had refrigeration, the second bus had refrigeration system fitted for 20 grand, so I'm going to add 20 grand to that. So that's the total at the beginning, just to check 2, 280, 360, 290 and 20 Okay. So then I which one did I get rid of? So bus number three was crash trading, so new one costing 260, so 260 goes there. And bus number three originally cost 290. Okay, so then I'll add up my total for the year, so that'll be those two added together. And then my balance CD is going to be the difference between uh, the two sides, which is that, and that becomes my balance at the beginning of next year. So, uh, during next year, what happened? Uh, bus number one was crashed and traded in against a new one costing 240. So my bank is 240, that's the replacement. And bus number one, bus number one was 280, and it had uh, a refrigeration unit fitted, 20, so that means 300 grand is the disposal. So that's the original cost of the thing I got rid of. So now I've got a balance of it in the same thing, so I'll add those two together. And then that's going to be my total. So my balance CD is going to be uh, the total minus uh, what I got rid of. So we have 860. Provision for depreciation. I just put in my dates first. First of the first, 05. The depreciation expense is going to be 31st and 12th, 05. Uh, the disposal, uh, that one I got rid of on the 31st of the 8th, 2005. 31st of the 8th, 05. And then the balance CD is on the 31st of the 12th, 05. And that will be my balance BD, which is going to be the 1st of the 1st, 06. And my profit and loss is going to be 31st of the 12th, 06. My balance 31st of the 12th, 06. And the disposal happened on the 31st of the 9th, uh, 06. Um, okay, and the balance brought down then is going to be the beginning of next year, 1st of 1st, 07. Okay, and uh, the motor vehicle disposal account. So, first we have. Uh, the date that it happened, so that's the 30th of the 8th, 05. The provision will be the 30th of the 8th, 05. 
and then uh, there is a date, 31st of the 6th, uh, okay, 31st of the 9th, 06, and 30th of the 9th, 06. Um, right, so I now am ready to go and put some numbers in here. The motor vehicles for the disposal, I have 290 is the first disposal, and the second disposal is 300. So 290 is put in there. And the second one is going to be 300, which goes there. Okay. Uh, that's as much as I can do to start off with. Next thing I'm going to do is do my rough work, put it into my provision, and I'll be able to finish off my notes. That will do us for now.